A new poll just out this morning shows that Donald Trump is expanding his lead nationwide. Donald Trump is up two to one among Republican voters with 39 percent support. Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz are statistically tied for second at 19 and 18 percent. John Kasich, Jeb Bush and Ben Carson are all in the single digits. Now, despite Donald Trump's expanding lead, President Obama predicted on Tuesday that Trump will not be president. Major Garrett is in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, with Trump's counterstrike at President Obama. Major, good morning. Good morning. Republicans don't take a lot of advice or cues from President Obama. That's especially true when it comes to picking a presidential nominee. Even so, the president has weighed in, dropping his prediction that Donald Trump would not win the White House right in the middle of the South Carolina primary. And it's a comment that could boost support for Trump among supporters who are eager to prove the president wrong and possibly even defy him. I don't think uh, you're going to be on his Christmas card list this year. I don't mind. Uh, I've already let me, had. let me read you what President it's Obama said. It's actually a said. great compliment. <laughs> Donald Trump wore the president's prediction like a badge of honor. I continue to believe Mr. Trump will not be president. Wrapping up a summit with Asian leaders in California, President Obama said voter fatigue will eventually halt Trump's White House bid. It's not hosting a talk show or a reality show. Mr. Obama did not predict GOP primary voters would necessarily sour on Trump. In fact, he seemed to taunt them, creating a general election where Trump is the GOP standard bearer. People vent and they express themselves and it seems like entertainment and oftentimes it's reported just like entertainment. But as you get closer, reality has a way of intruding. He has done such a lousy job as president. Trump was equally dismissive. You're lucky I didn't run last time when Romney ran because you would have been a one-term president. Republicans chasing Trump tried to reverse his momentum here. I don't think Mr. Trump has a plan other than it'll be huge. <laughs> when radical Islamic terrorists wage jihad on the United States of America, the answer is not to tweet insults at them. Marco Rubio lobbed a similar criticism at Trump, telling voters yesterday that building hotels overseas doesn't give somebody foreign policy experience. He got a laugh, too. But the fact is, Republican campaigns acknowledge that Trump's lead here is daunting. And come Saturday, Charlie, Trump could have the last laugh. Thanks, Major.